Howdy everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is July 1st, that means it is a Lego release day. And you know we went to the Lego store. I actually woke up late this morning and didn't get there before opening, which it's all right because I got what I wanted, which is pretty lucky. But there was no way I was gonna order this online every time I order from lego.com. Unfortunately, the box comes crushed, everything's come crushed and it's not really that worth it. So. Without further ado, let's get in and see what we got because this is going to be a short video. All right, so, uh, let's start with the Lego bag. So, uh, first up, we got the uh, Brickheads Zombie set 40626. This is the only one I didn't get uh, when uh, these came out. I think this is 201. And I realized that when I got my Star Wars ones, I was missing one. And I was like, man, I missed a couple. And I think, where are they at? Ah, oh, hey, right. I did get the other two already. And I have them put together and on the brickhead shelves. But uh, didn't get the zombie, so I'm glad we were able to get that today. They had plenty of them in stock. Next up, next up, we have set number 40600. It's Disney's 100 Years of Celebration. Uh, it has a battery included, it's got a little picture frame. Um, it does come with an exclusive minifigure. Um, so, yes, this is an awesome, awesome set. Uh, honestly, this is probably one of the real reasons that I got what I got today, which is kind of silly, but, um, but yeah, so it's got a really cool, uh, Mickey Mouse with a, what looks like a theater outfit on, so, this does have a light up brick in it, so those are always cool to see in little sets like this, but I think it's got like a $40 value, um, for such a small set, kind of crazy, but, yeah, definitely had to pick this up today, so that was the gift of purchase. And before we get to the big thing, um, oh, I want to show you guys this. So I can't open it because I already sorted the pieces in here, but uh, I got a classic uh, build together kit. So this is really cool. Um, my friend Larry bought this for me while we were at the beach last weekend. Uh, just He saw it at Walmart and was like, you know what? I think Travis would like this. So... He picked it up for me, and I'm super appreciative. It's so awesome to know that your friends know exactly what you like. As you can see, I already sorted all the pieces. Um, I built some of the stuff in here. It's really fun. Uh, I think this would be cool to like, pull out like, a party uh, or a group and you know pass the instructions around and uh, kind of build something with, you, uh, with your friends. So I really like this. Uh, this is going to go in my, my game drawer. It won't stay in here um, just because the box is so big. But yeah, I found that really fun to do. So thank you, Larry. So we'll put that up. Oh. All right, so this is the one you obviously, you guys obviously came for. Ugh. As you can see, the box is humongous. It feels humongous. Knife. So, I wasn't going to buy this set today. Um, I actually had some mishaps, and I had to buy tires for my truck, and I had to buy a hitch for my truck for a trailer, and uh, it was said I wasn't going to buy it. Well, then I looked on Lego.com, and it said July 4th was when it released, and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to buy it because I'm going to be doing something July 4th. I don't need to be driving all the way to Raleigh to get it. And then my sister called me, and she was like, hey, they have it at the mall today. So I literally got out of my bed and drove an hour to buy this. So, <laughs> oh, well, let's go ahead and finish getting it out of the box. So most of you probably already know what it is. It is the brand new 100th anniversary Disney Castle. 
and I already have a Disney castle and uh, this one just looks better and it comes with better figures if I do say so myself so the figures you get in here is Snow White, Prince Florian, Cinderella, Prince Charming, Princess Tiana, Prince Naveen, Rapunzel, and Flynn Rider. All amazing figures. And if you actually think back to um, uh, my minifigure video that I made a couple months ago for the Disney 100 series, all these princesses were in uh, my list of what they should have done in that one, and that's just probably why they did not uh, put those in that minifigure series, because now all of these figures, except for Tiana, are exclusive to this set, which is uh, really cool. So that is going to drop the value of these figures up. This was a $399 uh, Lego set. It was, I think, with this one rounded up, I think it was $430 something. So I spent today. Um, just an amazing set. I think it's about the same height as the one that is up on my shelf now. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to do some rearranging to get this bad boy on the shelf, but I do believe it's going to go in the corner. And uh, we'll see what happens when we get it together. It's been a while since I've done a set this big, so I'm looking forward to doing that. And, uh, yeah. So, tell me guys, down in the comments how you guys would like me to uh, build this set. Do you want me to build it on camera? Do you want me to build it and then do a review on it? You guys tell me. Uh, I don't know. But it's been a while since I've done one this big, because it's right at 5,000 pieces, 4,337. 4,837. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys check back in and see what I'm going to be doing with this. I'm definitely going to be posting a video shortly with my Brickheads, and uh, stay tuned. So, I'll see you next time.